Hello and welcome to Alabama Cooking with Chef Laureus. I'm Chef Laureus, the California girl with the Alabama flair for the kitchen. So happy to have you today. I'm excited. I'm excited y'all. Today we are making chicken and waffles. I love me some chicken and waffles. I can't, I'm excited. Okay, but let me just get a little housekeeping. If you're already a subscriber to this channel, thank you. Welcome back. Hashtag Team Calabama going strong. Thanks for being here today. And if you're new here, welcome. We're so excited to have you as part of Team Calabama. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button down there and be sure to hit the bell so you get notified every time there's a new recipe. All right, guys, I'm so excited. I can barely contain myself. Let's get cooking. First we're going to start with our chicken. I'm using chicken tenders today. You can use pieces or tenders but I'm using tenders today because I'm actually going to make these into sliders because I just want a little sandwich that I can eat. So I've taken some chicken tenders and I've cut them in half. See? This way I can have one or two of these on a waffle and make it into a little sandwich. Now the key to chicken and waffles is that the chicken needs to be spicy, okay? So we're going to start seasoning this chicken up and I'm going to talk to you about spicy. Here we go. It's important that your chicken be spicy with chicken and waffles because the waffles are sweet. And you want the spicy and the sweet to offset each other so that you really get the contrast of the flavors. So I'm starting with some salt and I'm also going to season my chicken with some seasoned pepper. I'm going to use a little bit of chili powder and a little bit of Cajun seasoning and I'm using about a tablespoon of each of these and some cayenne pepper. And for the cayenne pepper use about a teaspoon, okay? Now I'm going to mix all of this into my chicken because you want to season, we're going to season our flour as well, but you always want to season your meat because when someone goes through the, the barrier and the, the batter and all of that goodness, you want them to still have flavor. And then we're going to pour some buttermilk on this chicken as well. We're going to put buttermilk and hot sauce in here is what we're going to use to coat the chicken and that's going to really get us going. So here's our buttermilk. Okay, we've got some buttermilk. I'm using about two cups to start with, and I'm going to add some hot sauce. I'm adding about probably a cup of hot sauce, a third, half a cup. Mix it up. You want it to be a nice pinkish color. You know, chicken frying is not an exact science. It's much more of an art than a science. <laughs> See there? Oh, that looks good and spicy. I want to smell that hot sauce. Let me put a little bit more in there. And I'm telling you, don't worry that the chicken will be too spicy because the waffles will be sweet and that's what you use the syrup for to calm it down. Okay, now that we've mixed up our buttermilk mixture, buttermilk and hot sauce, we're going to pour this all over the chicken. See that? And it's okay if you don't use it all. And I like to go back in just to make sure that it's gotten all the way through the bowl and into all the chicken. And I'm going to let the chicken sit in this for a while. You can let it marinate like this for about 30 minutes or a couple hours if you'd like to. However you decide to do it or you can cook it right away. Now we're going to mix up our flour that we're going to dredge and fry our chicken in. So I'm starting with all purpose flour. I'm going to use about two cups. You can always make more if we need it. Okay. And we're going to season this flour with all kinds of goodies. We're going to start with some salt, of course, okay? Because you definitely need some salt in there. <laughs> and then, now I will put down some approximate measurements for you, but I just put them in there. This is some chili powder. And you might think, why chili powder? Because chili powder is your friend, honey. And this is Cajun seasonings. And I'll also try to remember to get some links down there for you guys of the seasonings I use, okay? And then some seasoned pepper. And truthfully, I'm using about two to three tablespoons of each of these to this cup of flour. And then the cayenne. Okay. I'm going to take my handy whisk, stir it up. That looks good. We're ready to start dredging our chicken in the flour. So I'm going to take a piece of this chicken and just put it right there in the flour and let it get all friendly. And as soon as our oil is hot enough, we will drop these in and fry them up. Now we're going to get to frying our chicken. We know our oil is hot because we've taken a little piece of flour and dropped it in and it started to do that. That's how we know it's ready. So we're going to start dropping these pieces in. You don't want to overcrowd it 
because if you overcrowd these things, then they'll start steaming and sauteing and they won't be crispy. And we want them to be crispy. Ooh, it smells good. Nothing like the smell of chicken frying, y'all. Can you smell it? You smell, you smell it? Okay. Look at that, our chicken is ready to come out. See how beautiful and golden brown that is? You guys, this is gonna be so good. Now we're gonna start on our waffles. Now, I do know how to make homemade waffles and pancakes, but tonight the focus is on the chicken. So y'all, I'm using a box of Hungry Jack, okay? You just add water. So, I don't have to show you how to do this because everybody knows how to do this, but this is what I'm doing tonight. I will do another video on homemade pancakes and waffles. I promise you. But can I be real? It is evening time, and this is dinner for us. So, I'm going quickly tonight. <laughs> but you guys are with me because we are family. Hashtag Team Calabama. All right, let's make some waffles. So, I'm going to mix in some of this pancake mix here. You know, I love cooking from scratch. Y'all know I don't like using boxes. But I'm gonna tell you what, you need to have a couple shortcuts in your back pocket because you don't always have time to make everything like you want it. Now I don't follow the directions on the pancake box. No, I don't. Because I'm gonna make it like I want it to look. Okay? So here is our waffle maker. It's all hot and ready to go. I've sprayed it with cooking spray. And I'm just gonna pour my waffle batter in. Don't tell me I didn't pour it all neat and pretty. You guys know my feelings on that. Food's supposed to be good. Pretty is a bonus. Good is a prerequisite. Look at that. Ooh, you guys, look. <laughs> Chicken and waffles, y'all. Chicken and waffles. So to make sliders, you're just gonna cut the waffles up so that they make pieces, because this is our sandwich bread, basically. Load a couple pieces of chicken on that. Put a little syrup on it. And put the top on that. Now this is a slider, baby. This is a slider. So family. This is spicy, sweet. Mm. I love this. Okay, I'm gonna put it down. Mm. Thank you so much for joining me today for Calabama Cooking with Chef Lorius. Be sure to join me again. We'll have plenty more recipes. Thank you for being here. Remember to hit that subscribe button. If you like what you just saw, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. That's okay. Either way, we're together. Have a great day. I can't wait to see you guys next time. Happy cooking.